Next up, stepping out of your comfort zone can be a little scary and daunting. Lee warns a man who goes out of his way to keep his life interesting. Rattle your dags as fast as you can. You can't dunk me. I'm the Anzac Biscuit Man. <laughs> Lee Warren it's, it's first visited Bombay to Downs man, Primary School to talk to a class about life in a wheelchair. Get in the ground and they cook it, like cook their meat. Exactly, like a hungry. Um, yeah, some kids sort of come up and they're just sort of kicking and touching the chair but, but making eye contact and, and talking to you and stuff. And they're not even talking about the chair. It's just sort of like, it's my plaything. You know, when you, you meet someone and you're playing with their ball or their pen or something. Um, and then other kids sort of just walk up to you and they're just like, oh, you know, like it's a new car or a flash bike or something. And they're just like completely focused on the, on the chair aspect, which is really cool. The, the kids were so enthusiastic about what Lee had to say <laughs> that he had a request from another class and another horse? and another. Emma. <laughs> Good horse. He gets on really well with children. He relates well with the children, with the, the other staff. I think um, the children are much more aware of what, what, what it's like to what be in a wheelchair. Again? What about Tickety Boo and Hunky Dory? <laughs> they don't really fit into the normal category, do they? No. No. And uh, Cool Bananas? That's, that's kind of another one. There's, there's all three of them there. They're just sayings. Lee fitted in so well with both kids and staff that Bodney Downs invited him to help at the school on a regular basis. But if you've got 56 plus 29 plus 1 plus another one, that's 56 plus 32. Lee now joins Mary Sweet's Year 6 class every Friday. Most of the work I do at the school is, um, is just on a, a voluntary sort of, uh, what would it be, almost a teacher aid sort of capacity. I think it's just really funny and like, um, what he basically makes you want to work, like usually you don't want to work but he makes you, makes the working fun, yeah. Okay, Lee's so first visit to the school coincided with the onset of shoulder so problems, the consequence of life in a wheelchair. Now what is it, equal? He used to work as a wheelchair salesman, but was contemplating a career change. Retraining as a primary school teacher seemed the obvious choice. Being a teacher and studying and training and being become a teacher is, is going to be able to help me in anything, in any area of my life that I want to do. If I can control 10 year olds, I can control adults. So Lee's decision to train as a teacher has the full support of the school. I was being told by the principal and all the other teachers that, uh, that if, I, if I don't apply for um, becoming a teacher this year, they're going to be very upset. Uh, they won't want me to come in next year, and you know, I, I have to, so I said yeah, <laughs> and I did, and it's, it is good. Lee's a go-getter, and the kids love hearing stories about all that he's done. He's got a portfolio kind of thing over there with all his daredevils and stuff. He usually goes on these trips with this wheelchair group, and he does rock climbing, they do kayaking, and he does daredeviling, and he, he jumped off a bridge into the water. Wheeling down the classroom steps backwards, barely hints at the ways that Lee pushes himself out of his comfort zone. No, as much as I enjoy my comfort zone, I, I try and push myself out of it as well. It's, um, I don't know, I suppose everyone needs to try and push themselves as much as possible. You actually feel better at the end of the day if you've done something a, a little bit different, a little bit not the same as yesterday. And then that, that breaks it up, so not every day is the same. Lee sticks to a rigorous training program. It's not really training, it's keeping fit. I figure there's no point living to 100. If I'm not going to be fit and able to get myself around, at the end of the year, I'm going to wheel from Auckland to Cape Ranga. Today, Lee's test driving the Freedom Wheel. They're new to New Zealand. Lee thought it might be a good way to get himself around uni a bit faster. I'm so excited about having a go with this, this Freedom Wheel and um, maybe running down some stairs, seeing if I can break it. You know, breaking things is fun sometimes in the right environment. Yeah. Basically the, the Freedom Wheel is a, an adaption for a standard wheelchair um, which will let you go over all different types of terrain from grass, gravel, um, right through to sand. Um, it's designed in such a way that 
Where you've not been able to do things before or go certain places, you now can. And to fit into a small bag so you can put it into the back of your car. Lee's first attempt was down some steps that provide a faster route to class. How's that? Yeah. We're going to take it to uni, maybe try some, some steps. <laughs> you might be down, but not for long. Off the steps. How does this freedom wheel actually balance? Lee opted to start with smaller steps. I'm kind of thinking, am I going to fall out? Am I going to fall out? Is it going to hurt? <laughs> How long will it hurt for? Next he tried it off-road. And the grass. Oh, piece of grass. It was easy. Before Lee can use the freedom wheel to get around uni, he'll need to practice. But he still wanted to give it one final test on a steep grassy slope. That was cool. It's funny, it's just as tiring going down as probably going back up. <laughs> oh, the only weird thing is like, um, because of all the moisture on the grass, it's like, okay, I can't really stop and turn. <laughs>